What's up guys, I am Ian, and today, in this video, I update my fucking drone. But first, in my last video, I did mention that I had two major problems with the DJI Mini 3 Pro, specific to the panorama inbuilt functionality, as well as the waypoint hyperlapse issues of GPS. And today, I will be going over my findings from one of the solutions that I did apply. Now, I was not able to go to the exact same location or to replicate my findings, uh, so I had to go somewhere new. And because of this, I decided that my first night, my first set of batteries were going to be spent trying to replicate the problem so that I could have a baseline at this location, of which I went to LACMA. <laughs> And as I previously experienced, you can see right here with the built-in horizontal panorama, that little icon for the wide angle that has nine different shots, the you know top corners are still dutching. Even when I brought it all in to stitch it in Lightroom with the spherical panorama, the horizon line is, well, it's just unusable. And here I was able to use the guided transform to try and warp it back and try and, you know, make it somewhat usable and as straight as possible uh, without completely losing the feel of the photo. It's still very clearly not usable. And even after switching to the vertical panorama function, you can see with the crane on the right, it's still warped. I mean, this is as best that I could make it without the whole, you know, frame just coming out abstract. It's better, but it's just not great. And now let's take a look at the waypoint. I mean, you can see it right here. Look at this first point and then look at the first shot that was taken you can see just like at universal this baseline the center point has shifted a lot and the same can be said for when i set the final waypoint in this hyperlapse as well as the final shot in the hyperlapse it's just wrong and this evening when i was here there was even less chance to get things wrong because there was no win. So I don't know why he was doing this other than to blame the GPS or something in DJI. So it was at this point that I came home, dumped all the footage from that night and went straight to the DJI support site to try and get some type of answers. And after a long, long time and many screenshots trying to get them to understand what I was saying and why there was a problem, they finally understood. And they had one solution for me, update the drone and the controller. So after it all got updated, I went back out to the exact same location one week later. There was construction on the street this time, nothing I could really do about it. I just tried to do the exact same shot so that I could try to understand and therefore share with you guys if anything had been made different or worse or if it was the exact same unusable shit. Looking at these finished frames, Here's where it gets a little weird. The first part is good weird. Ending waypoint of what I was programming and ending shot. The ending shot is much closer. This is something that I can now somewhat understand what I'm about to get as a finished result comparatively to what I programmed into my waypoint. Let's, uh, let's switch these up to the first waypoint that I was programming and the first frame. They're still essentially the same problem of what it was. So somehow with the update, the first point is still just as bad maybe even slightly worse, but the ending waypoint and the ending frame correlation is much closer and much more usable. I'm not really sure what's happening in my RC controller or my drone or my GPS because I had plenty of satellite coverage that night and every night I have tried this and it's the same problem, but now there's this new disconnect between starting and ending waypoints that it somehow gets closer the more waypoints there are. I'm honestly just baffled at what is happening here. But here's where the update starts to actually take effect. Let's go into the panoramas and we'll even start with the uh, verticals. Now, as you can see right here, this is much, much straighter. In fact, I didn't have to use guided transform tool, but I did because it was off by like maybe 
a degree. Like that's, that's it. It is much more usable and much straighter. But let's even take this a step further. You can now take that inbuilt vertical panorama that we did from the RC controller and the drone itself and go against this panorama that I shot using five photos, fully manual, same settings, but not inbuilt in the drone. This was 100% manual. And that's the only difference besides the fact that I did five shots, not three. So there's even more overlapping in this panorama. You can see that after the update, the inbuilt three shot is actually giving my five shot fully manual panorama a run for its money. So the update on the vertical panoramas definitely did a good job. But now the real fucking problem, the horizontal wide angle inbuilt panoramas. Fucking embarrassing! I mean, look at how warped the horizon line is. It's atrocious. There's no way that you can actually use this as a panorama simply because of how warped that is. I mean, literally the only thing that is straight in this is the subject, which yes, thank you. But the subject takes up this much fucking room. That's great that that is straight, but why the hell is nothing else straight? And to make matters worse, I tried to fix this using the guided transform tool. Here is the monstrosity that it gave me. Ugh, nauseating. The The funniest thing about this photo though is that I used the guided transform tools on objects that weren't even close to the edges. So if I had moved these guided transform lines all the way to the edge, it had the capability to be worse than this. Ha. Ah. So let's uh, compare the nauseating hole to then a much more pleasing finished product of 25 raw 48 megapixel photos all merged in the exact same way. First things first, the colors are way better and I'm fairly confident that it's because this was built off of raw files, not inbuilt JPEGs that then became you know, a panorama at the end. I did basic touch-ups and then merging them all. 25 raw 48 megapixel photos. This is a large file. But after looking at just how much better the colors look on this one, now look at the buildings. Do you now see what I'm talking about? How straight these buildings are. Looking past the buildings, look at the horizon line. It's actually a line, it's not going around. I understand we're on a globe, but a horizon line is supposed to be a line. Come on. And before I get a bunch of comments going, oh, but Ian, it's panorama and it's a drone. Like there's gonna be bends, there's gonna be warps. You're gonna see the horizon. Um. Yeah, here's a bunch of examples to show what I'm talking about. These are all cityscapes, and the only thing that is warped on any of these fucking shots is the foreground. Not the buildings in, in mid-ground or, or all the way in the background, not the horizon line, not the subject. It's the foreground. That's it. And it makes sense because that is the closest shit to the lens, of course it's gonna be warped. And do you wanna know what all of those panoramas and my 25 photos merged into a single panorama have in common that the inbuilt DJI Mini 3 Pro panorama feature does not have? We don't use the fucking Dutch angles. I mean, seriously, DJI, why, why do you think that needs to happen. I'm, I'm actually concerned and confused. And honestly, I just want an answer so that I can, because I actually have OCD. So this is something that I just like, I need to find out. But it seems like none of your support staff know that that's wrong. Like you don't do a panorama like that. And I might be wrong, but there is not a single person I've ever met that shoots with Dutch angles when you're on a vertical plane to get a panorama. In an attempt to stop sounding like I'm ranting, because I swear this had a conclusion, don't use the inbuilt nine shot panorama unless 
honestly, I, I can't even imagine why you would. I, I It's unusable from what I have been able to find out. If you need to do a panorama, other than the vertical, the vertical, as we showed earlier, that's working. Great update. Love it, DJI, but fix horizontal. So until they fix it, do everything manually. Do it all. It takes maybe 15 extra seconds to control and move the angle. That's it. That's it. I, I promise you the ending result will be better and you will be happier with what you see. I promise you. Everything is better when you take control of your creativity. And on that note, I will see you on the next video.